Hey you guys, it's your girl Megan James and you are now tuned into the Hollywood Group Chat Podcast, period. And we have a very, very special uh, guest today. He goes by the name of Pound Cake. He's an Atlanta MUA. He do all the celebrities and he beat the fuck out of my face today, period. And um, this episode is sponsored by, my bad y'all, the Cake Factory Cosmetics. Uh, this is Pound Cake's um, cosmetic line. This I think is probably a lip gloss. Yeah, I think these are both their lip glosses. No, that one is the, oh, that's lipstick? a lip gloss and that's lipstick. Oh, so I got a lipstick and a lip gloss, but he has all type of products. He has like lip liners, lashes, all, anything you need as far as makeup products. And um, this episode is also sponsored by the Bad Stuff Tequila. If you guys are tequila drinkers, I need you guys to try the Bad Stuff. Um, it's really good. I know that's like an oxymoron, but the Bad Stuff is one of my favorite tequilas and they sponsor in our episode today. And is this Reposado? They're both Reposado. Mm. But this is like two times the steel. So this one's like stronger than this one, but it's smoother. You know, like oh, okay. the longer it okay. sits. Like, so like this would be like Anejo. Yeah, like okay. the Anejo. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So I felt like this episode was very necessary because I have just moved to Atlanta. And I've been having the struggle of finding my team. Like I haven't found a hairstylist, a permanent makeup artist, a style, like a wardrobe stylist, a lash lady, a wax lady. I have been all over the place trying to find, trying to find my team. And um, Pound Cake, he came to one of my podcasts in the past with Jessica Diamond. He beat the fuck out of Jessica Diamond's face. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna hit up Pound Cake um, for the next time I need a makeup look because I had a horrible experience with an Atlanta makeup artist. So we're gonna get into Pound Cake's like background, and then we're gonna get into Pound Cake's opinions on, you know, the 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 beauty industry in Atlanta. So we're gonna start. So, how did you get started doing makeup? Um, honestly, I put a status on Facebook and I was like, I want to learn how to do eyebrows because y'all eyebrows be fucked up, like verbatim. <laughs> and so when I, when I said that, um, this girl commented, well, my friend, mm -hmm. she commented or whatever. She was like, well, I'm about to open up a kiosk in the mall and you can come try it out. Mm -hmm. So I went and um, I started doing eyebrows and then like, so you had no idea how to do any of it. You just went to go try it. I don't even write, my handwriting didn't even eat. So I'm just, I'm just trying shit, you know, cause at that point in my life, I just was like, what am I gonna do? I'm, I don't want to work for nobody. I used to quit every job I got. Mm -hmm. I used to be a booster, so. Period, where are the boosters at? Because I've been trying to find those in Atlanta I too, stay and the, I ain't I found stay far them. away from them, cause oh. <laughs> baby, I don't even like the police. Um, <laughs> and you know, I just, I got tired of doing it, so. Mm -hmm. I started doing makeup and it was something I, I could, I learned and it was something that I was good at and it was mm -hmm. making me fast money. Mm -hmm. So it was really more like a hustle turned passion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's how I started. Mm -hmm. So um, you're not from Atlanta, you're from- I'm from Greenville, Greenville South, South Carolina. Carolina. So you lived in Greenville, you grew up in Greenville. What made you want to move to Atlanta? I done everybody fucking makeup there. Yeah. It was, I'm like, who's next? But you could have moved to Florida. That's like this, like. No, I, I was thinking more of like, I want to work with celebrities, so I need to go to where they at. Mm. I don't need to go. I, first, I was going to go to North Carolina, go to Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I was like, they don't fucking bring that many celebrities up there. I need to go to where I know for a fact that I'm going to, I'm going to at least do somebody. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And the third day I was there, I was doing a celebrity. I wasn't even yeah. unpacked. Who was your first celebrity? Ot Barbie. Who? Ot Barbie. My girl, I yeah. love Akbar. Yeah, she was the first one, and um, I started doing her makeup, and then like, when I did Akbar makeup, it was just like, like up from there. It was just like, all the girl, all the girls mm -hmm. was hitting me up. Okay, so um, speaking of celebrity makeup, like. Um, I came from LA, and there's a, everybody's a celebrity in LA, and everybody's, everybody's a celebrity, celebrity in Atlanta, artist, right? <laughs> so there was always this like dis. I don't know if the right word is like distinct. I don't know. It was always an issue with celebrities having their real clients, like their normal people clients versus their celebrity clients. And it was always a debate. Um, a lot of celebrities, you know, get big and start doing big people. And they are like, I only do celebrity clients. I, I don't work with regular people no more. And then it's a lot of makeup artists that be like, I don't like celebrity clients. So like, what's your view on that? I'll be the fish face. Period. Money is money. <laughs> money is money. You know what I'm saying? Um, I determine on who I do with the energy I receive through the message. Like, mm -hmm. if I feel like it's gonna be good and it's gonna benefit me, whether it's a regular person or not, like, I tell I tell a celebrity no and, mm -hmm. and be at home with my feet. I be at home on my couch watching TV and I tell them I'm booked because I feel like it's not gonna be a good experience. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But other than that, baby, I got a strip attitude. Money make me move. So mm -hmm. if 
whoever want their face done. If you want your face done and I'm available, I'm going to do it. Right. So, like, when it comes to, like, scheduling, then you're pretty fair. Because I had an experience with a makeup artist before, and um, they were supposed to do my makeup. Mm -hmm. It had been scheduled for, like, two weeks, mm -hmm. and it was for a really big event. It had to be for, like, some award show or something like that. Mm -hmm. It gets to the day that she's supposed to do my makeup, and I'm like, hey, like, are you on the way? Like, what's your ETA? She's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I forgot to tell you that uh, Tommy called me last minute, Tommy Lee, and she was like, I'm going to go do Tommy's face, and if I have time, I could do you after. And I'm just like, like, no shade to Tommy. She's a beautiful girl, and, you know, she's earned her, like, stripes in the reality TV world, but it's just like, girl. Now, if you would have told me that you was about to do, like, Beyonce makeup, and you canceled me for Beyonce, I would have been like, okay, do your thing. But the fact that she canceled me for Tommy, I was like, okay, girl, and I never called her again. So, like, as you far did as, right. as far as scheduling, though, like, are you pretty fair? I'm fair as hell. If you, whoever book it first, get it. Um, yeah, like, when I first moved here, I would jump on anything, because I'm like, Man, I gotta, I gotta get my name out there, like. And then one day, I was at somebody's house. I'm, I'm never gonna say the name. Mm -hmm. I was at somebody's house. It was like six in the morning, and I'm a Gemini. So, baby, sometimes one thing about us, when we don't give a fuck, we don't give one or two or three. Yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And it was six, and I had to be there at six in the morning. And I got, and I, and I looked down at my clock, and I was still sitting in my car at six thirty, and I hadn't even unpacked a brush. Mm -hmm. You was ready to go. I went home because my thing is like people think, and that's why people don't want to do celebrities because they think, oh well, I'm a celebrity and, and I'm gonna pay this much money. They on my time. No. Yeah. No. No. Like you gotta run it like a regular business. It, it's just it's like, it, it's just like we respect people. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, respect people. And we're, we're doing you a favor. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? If we leave and you can't find nobody else and you don't know how to do your makeup. You about to be looking crazy. You're going to be wearing shades on a red carpet. I hate it for you. Yeah. Get your biggest frames out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just like, you know, I, you know, and if anybody is wanting to be a celebrity makeup artist and all of that, baby, focus on them CNAs and them nurses with their money. For real. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you about an experience I had with an Atlanta makeup artist, and I want you to tell me if I'm right or wrong in this experience, right? Mm -hmm. So it's this girl, um, I, found her, I found her here, she did my birthday makeup a few years ago, mm -hmm. um, but she's a special effects makeup artist. Okay. So I was like, okay, she would be good with like some dramatic shit because this is what she does, right? right. She did a great job on my birthday makeup, and I was like, okay, she's, she's good. Um, I booked her a few times because she's from Orlando. Mm -hmm. I booked her a few times in Orlando to do my makeup for Basketball Lives. Um, a couple of times, the makeup overall was good, but we would have little issues. Like one time she got glue on my eye. Mind you, inside I had, the eye? Inside my eye. Okay. So mind you, I had to be on set in like 30 minutes. So we're struggling, my eyes water and the makeup is running. And obviously like I'm getting upset. Like girl, like you've been doing makeup for umpteen years. Why do you have glue on my eye? It'll be another thing like she, I don't know if she's used to doing like white girl makeup. And I usually like white girl makeup, but I don't like white girl lashes. Like she would bring me them Dollar Store, Dollar General, right. thin plastic band lashes to, to for my appointment. I feel like if I'm paying you a certain price, because I live in LA, I've paid $400 for a beat. You, makeup don't last two days, it lasts one day. So I've paid up to $400 for a beat and I've paid as little as like 65 to $80 for, for makeup. If I'm paying a decent price for makeup, don't bring me cheap products. Don't bring me cheap plastic lashes. I want some, what is it called, mink? That's what you got on your eyes. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> buy pound cake, period. You know, but I'm just saying, like, give me the quality experience because I'm paying you the, the quality yeah. money. And I'm not complaining. I tip. Mm -hmm. I, I'm on time. You don't have to ever worry about me being one, two, three, four, five, six hours late. I offer you food, water, drinks, alcohol, weed, whatever you need to make you feel comfortable. I'm a very... I'm a good client to have, and right. I'm gonna refer you to every job that I feel like might, might, might be fitting, right? Right. Okay, so the girl comes to my house, and um, her ring light isn't working, because it's always something where it's either the lashes, or something, something, something. The makeup usually come out decent, but it's always a minor issue. She comes to my house, the ring light not working. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, sis, I have somewhere to be. I had to be on a carpet. Mm -hmm. She's like, okay, well, let's just turn all the lights off. And she's gonna, she used like her flashlight phone or something like that. The flashlight on her phone, or yeah. she was like, like one of those lights that go that on you a, clip to the phone. Yeah, that you clip okay. to the phone. In the back of my head, I'm like, bitches, you really about to do my makeup with no light on? But I tried to listen to her because I'm trying to basically, I'm aesthetically, it, I'm trying to it, let her do her job. Was it daytime outside? It was almost night. Okay. It was almost night. It was probably like eight o'clock. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. And so I was like, okay, cool. I go turn the lights off. And this girl has done my makeup multiple times. I'm, I have very dry skin, right? So if, if I have dry skin, I feel like you shouldn't be putting a whole bunch of powders on me. Like I have dry skin, I like dewy makeup because I have dry skin, my skin absorbs. Mm -hmm. So she comes, starts pulling out her kit, mind you, lights is off. She's pulling powder here, powder here, powder here. I haven't seen no cream, I haven't seen no liquid, it's just powder. Maybe she did a couple dots of, she didn't even do like a prep. You know how you do your skin prep? Mm -hmm. Like the dewy skin prep, she didn't do that. My, so she basically doing my makeup in the dark. In the back of my head, I'm like, this ain't right. I go turn the light back on. I'm like, girl, I don't want you to do my makeup in the dark. So then she said he pulling out products. She pulls out a Maybelline something. She pulls out a LA girl something. And in the back of my head, I'm like, I'm paying you for my, like, don't bring Maybelline to my house. Like, I'm paying you for an experience. Like, right. your makeup isn't $65 a bead. Right. Like, you're over $100. I need over $100 when I, worth and of when I charge, And when I used to charge this five, I used to use Maybelline. And it, my point. <laughs> so she does a horrible job on my makeup. I go to the carpet. Because, you know, everybody goes to the carpet for pictures, right? Like, that's mm -hmm. why we go into the carpet. It's like, my outfit is tea, but my face look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. So you didn't ruin my whole night. Because the point of me even going to the carpet was for pictures. People don't even be wanting to do the events. Yeah. You there for the look. My look is fucked. So I didn't pay for a new outfit, hair, makeup, and I can't even get a cute Getty pick. So I'm mad at this And point. Getty don't lie. They don't. So I wake up the next morning and I do a TikTok. But I don't mention no names. I mm. just, basically what I just told you, I said all over TikTok. Yeah. So the girl finds my TikTok and then she makes a rebuttal story accepting that it was her. So she wanted people to know that it was her. Mm -hmm. And the comments ate me alive because I was telling people that if I ask you to do my face a certain way, it should be done the way that I ask because I'm paying for it. Exactly. So as an experienced makeup artist, I've had a lot of artists be like, don't tell me what to do. Like, I know how to do my job. I've been doing makeup for 15 years. Like, I've had people tell me that. Okay. So like, how do you feel when it comes to situations like that? Like, if I ask, if I show you a picture and I'm like, I want to make like up like this, Either I feel like you should be like, I can't do that for you, or you could do it exactly how, like That's this. That's exactly what I'm going to say. So what do you think? I'm, I'm going to say that. Like, when people bring pictures to me, or they, they have inspo pics, and I haven't done it, if I can't do it, I'm going to tell you that. Mm -hmm. But then I'm going to also say, when you went to my page, and you scroll down and went through them pictures, did you see anything like what you're showing me? You didn't see it. Mm -hmm. So I don't do it. You get what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you just have to be up front and just tell mm -hmm. the people that you can't do it. But, mm -hmm. um... What do you feel about low quality... The low quality products. Like I said, if you're charging low prices, you can use that. But I'm not, I wouldn't let nobody put Maybelline on my face for 250 Right. Or if you're going to do it, hide it, right? And if you're going to do it, and, no, but if you're going to do it, do it right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to do it, do it to well, I don't know. I, now, when I started, I was using Maybelline. I had a kit full of Maybelline. Mm. And when I started, and when I started using, you know, NARS and stuff like that, I have one client right now, Chameleon. I, Every time I do a makeup, she say, I miss you used to use Maybelline. I like how I look with Maybelline on. That's the only celebrity that done ever told me that. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But I don't like I don't like how it looked because I don't know how to really work it. You get what yeah. I'm saying? It's it's a lot of celebrity makeup artists that had it in their kit. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. I don't know, I don't like how 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 my how it look when I'm done. Right. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I choose I choose what I choose. So I have a question. Say that you did my face 15 times, right? And, and, and that's what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. You should know your client by now. You should know your client by now. I do K Michelle. I, I've been doing K Michelle for three years. I know that she's not. I know she don't want no dark eyes. I know she don't. I know she don't want this. I know she don't want that. I know mm -hmm. she want soft. I know she. She sometimes she don't want shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know that. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So you have to know your client. Mm -hmm. You have to. You have to. That's what any anything you do, you have to know your client. You have to know the attitude. You got to know. Well, this is what I'm gonna deal with today. Yeah. She done booked me. She could probably come here. And, she gonna probably come here and because be today. Because at the today. end of the you day, know what you could have been like, no. Like the girl yeah. was on her TikTok talking about, I've always been mean to her. Blah blah blah. Girl, I've never been mean to you. You wasn't mean to me. I'm never mean. I'm not a mean person. But it's just like, bitch. Just like how I kept booking, you could have kept canceling. Like you wanted my money and I wanted your services. Just because I wanted your services doesn't mean that everything you did was perfect. And just because you wanted my money doesn't mean that my attitude. It's, it's clearly deal withable. I know yeah. that's not a word, but bitch, it's yeah. deal withable because you kept accepting my money. Right. But yeah, I just want to know if I was right or wrong in that situation. Um, you wasn't wrong, but you wasn't right. Okay, how was I not right? So I was As a paying client. Because you made a TikTok. That's, but that's what started. No, you, you took it to the internet. <laughs> I did. And you and, and, and now, <laughs> but did. now you don't like because she responded. It's not that I don't but like that she responded. You don't like that she responded, but you know she seen it and she said something about yeah. it. Yeah. And then it caused people to say stuff. You yeah, get what I'm saying? You're right. You could have just said stuff on it, but like, well, girl, da 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 da. This time, I like it. I 
the, the, the clientele, we're done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all could have broke up that way. You know? You're right, you're right. So that's the only thing where I would say you were wrong. Yeah. Um, But she was wrong for bringing fucking Maybelline over there. Right. You know what I'm saying? She if, was. She was. She Especially was. if you was paying that much. And my thing is much. like, bitch, you know that I have dry skin. Why do you keep putting all this powder on me? You know I don't, uh, there's the looks that I don't like, so right. why are you doing this to me? If she done did your makeup over 15 times, she should yes, know. Yes, you should know. She should know. Period. To wrap up this topic, bitch, you should know. <laughs> it's not that deep. Okay, you guys. So this is the end of our interview with Mr. Pound Cake himself. Um, do you have any projects coming up? Anything you want to promote on here? Tell me. Um, I'm find having you? a brunch and brushes makeup class on May the 19th. Um, you can come. You can sign up. You can click link in my bio and sign up. Um, so if you want to learn how to do your makeup, learn how to do other people's makeup. Come on out. We're going to have brunch. We're going to learn how to do makeup. I'm going to teach you skin prep. I'm going to teach you the difference between dry skin and oily skin. I'm going to teach you the ins and outs, how to make content, how to, how to properly get the right picture, you know, so you can attract clients, all of that good stuff. So, yeah, you can find me on Instagram. I'm at poundcake underscore, two Ds, two Es. And on TikTok at poundcake, one, two Ds, two Es. Period. And that is a wrap for the Hollywood Group Chat Podcast. Thank you for having me. Cheers. I love drum clubs. Ah. <laughs>